Hey, 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 JK here. And I want to thank you for sharing part of your day with me. Well, it's another week of fantasy football and another week of me getting this video out late, but we will hopefully get this out tonight. It is Thursday, so it's probably not going to be Thursday Night Football, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this week was full of some huge performances, and let's be real, the one every one of us was talking about and looking at was Devon Achan. So he ran wild this past week, uh, over 200 yards, and he is super fast and is just another person to add to that track star team that the Miami Dolphins have. Speaking of performances, the Miami Dolphins just absolutely went off. 70 points? That's ridiculous. I think the only thing better than that would be if they shut their opponent out. And, I mean... They had to give him a few points, right? Give him 20. So, in any case, um, we're going ahead and get to the results because, again, this video is coming out late and there's other stuff we have to do. Before we get to the results, all the teams came in 1-1 one one this week. So, heading into week 3, the goal was to all be above 500. But the first team we're going to start with, the Majestic Juggernauts. And, in fact, we did end up going above the 500 record with a 95-91 to 91 win. Some of the guys that helped me to this win included Jalen Hurts with 21 points, Jason Myers with 18 points, and another loss for my team, but he had a big week for me, Mike Williams also with 18 points. The biggest losers for my team included Dallas Goddard and the Dallas defense, who got me negative two. And as a Redskins, Commanders, football team, whatever you want to call them fan, I am so happy. This could not have made me happier because we actually beat the Cardinals and the Cowgirls could not beat the Cardinals. So that's just a little cherry on top for me. Mike Williams going down is the second person in two weeks I've had go down on season-ending injury IR. Uh, first, obviously, being Nick Chubb and... Now, uh, Bolt's wide receiver opening the door for Quentin Johnson. So, uh, if you have not looked him up or if he's not grabbed in your league, go ahead and add him. Speaking of the ads and drops, I did end up having to drop Mike Williams, but I picked up Romeo Dobbs because him and Jordan Love seem to have a pretty good connection. And next, we're going to move to the Vince McMahon Football Club. This week, I unfortunately took the L, 150 to 114. My highest scores were Jalen Hurts with 21 and Mike Williams with 31. I had several guys who only scored in single digits, including Mark Andrews, Brian Robinson Jr., DeAndre Hopkins, and Calvin Ridley. And another big loser for me was the Dallas defense, who got me negative seven. Again, it's bittersweet because I wanted them to do well for my fantasy purpose, but in real life, you know, all of my Dallas friends... I can let them know, hey, you cowgirls lost. You still them boys? You lost. <laughs> and before you come in and be like, oh, well, the Redskins lost to the Bills. Yeah, they're one of the best teams in the NFL. Yeah, I'll absolutely take that loss to Josh Allen and his phenomenal defense rather than a team that has all but said, yeah, we're going to tank this year. And then that's not even going to work for him because Caleb Williams is like, nah, nah, man, I ain't coming out this year. I'm going to use my extra eligibility year and I'm going to stay at USC. But in any case, yeah, the Dallas defense really let me down. The only ad this week has been 2-2 at well um, uh, because I was able to put Nick Chubb on the IL. I didn't have to drop anyone. Um, I know everyone has been, you know, looking at that other wide receiver, Pacal, Picu, um, and of course Van Jefferson, uh, Tyler Higby, those other receivers and tight ends for the Rams. But I really think Tutu Atwell is making a name for himself. Developed a pretty good chemistry with Matthew Stafford, even though Matthew Stafford's wife came out uh, during training camp and was like, well, he's not making a good connection with these younger players. Well, I mean, he's a little older, but... I don't think anyone can dismiss the fact that all these players know Matthew Stafford. They saw him play at Georgia. They saw him endure the terrible years in Detroit. And they probably saw him win the Super Bowl. So I don't I don't think anyone's like, oh, I don't know who this Matthew Stafford guy is. In any case, there's only one ad, 2-2 at well. I think he's going to do well for me along with my other wide receivers I have. Um, speaking of doing well for me, I did start Hurts, and I don't think anyone would be silly to, to say, oh, Hurts was the better start. But for like the second or third week in the row, uh, Brock Purdy and Kirk Cousins have done better than him. So time to, to put up those uh, maybe I should start someone else thoughts in my mind. But as, let's be real. As soon as I put Brock Purdy in, he's going to get hurt. As soon as I put um, old Kirk Cousins in, he's going to be like, oh, it's a primetime game. I don't know how to play anymore. So... In any case, 
Uh, Vince McMahon Football Club is one and two. And now we're going to move to the party time party boys. This week I brought my record to above 500. I won 156 to 100. Despite winning by 56, there were three of my guys who only scored single digits. Jameer Gibbs, Mark Andrews, and Sky Moore. And one of my guys scored zero. He didn't even get a target. Josh Reynolds for the Lions. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen moving forward. But I was lucky enough to have some big time scores to get me over the hump. And I want to make it a point that for the third week in a row, Kirk Cousins outscored Patrick Mahomes. Am I really going to sit Patrick Mahomes and start Kirk Cousins? Wow, what world are we living in? Whatever world we're living in, ads and drops are a must to go over. So the ads included Rushy Rice, Davon Achan, Sky Moore, and Gus Edwards. And the drops included Nick Chubb because it's not a keeper league. And of course, he's done for the season. Justice Hill, Gus Edwards, and Sky Moore. And the last team we're going to talk about, the deranged Easter Bunny. If you're keeping up, we've had two teams win in week three and one team lose in week three. So what are the deranged Easter Bunnies going to do? Are they going to take it over the top or are we going to even it up? Well, unfortunately, we're going to even it up. We lost 167 to 143. This week, I did, in fact, start Derek Carr over Joe Burrow because I didn't think Joe Burrow was going to play. Well, Derek Carr ended up getting hurt after 24 points, and Joe Burrow pulled out the win and scored 40-some-odd points. Well, had I started Burrow, I would have won this week, so I'm going to go back to my baseball adage, start your studs. Some of the guys that did perform well for me included Jason Myers with 23 points and Tyreek Hill with another 40-plus point game with 46 points. The two biggest losers for me this week, Josh Kelly and Derrick Henry. They both got me two points. The ads this week include Josh Kelly, Tutu Atwell, Zach Moss, and Tampa's defense. The drops include Brandon Cooks, Javante Williams, Derrick Carr, and the Jets defense. And now we're going to talk about some of the ads. Obviously, Davon Achan is one of the biggest ads. Raheem Mostert does have an injury concern with his history, um, but also Achan is just amazing. He's blistering fast. And with that Miami offense, whoo, what damage he could do alongside Tyree Kill. Another guy to add, Quentin Johnston from the Chargers. Justin Herbert is losing Mike Williams for the year, so he's going to have to look at someone else. While I do think Gerald Everett could be a possibility for targets, if Keenan Allen can stay healthy, the back coming out of the backfield, Josh Kelly or Austin Eckler, could also receive some shots. I think Quentin Johnson is going to have to step up and be that second wide receiver, and Justin Herbert's going to be finding him. Well, thanks for joining in on this very quick wrap-up for Week 3. Looking forward to talking to you about Week 4, and I hope you enjoy Thursday night game. Hopefully, I'll come to you sooner than Thursday night next week. This has been Jay Cake, and I want to thank you for sharing part of your day with me.